If you remember the 60s, you weren't really there. That quote is attributed to a lot of folks who definitely were there, including rockers and acid heads Grace Slick, Pete Townshend, Wavy Gravy, and Timothy Leary, but the earliest citation extant, 1982, credits comedian Charles Fleischer. Conversely, those of us who remember the actual 70s don't need that 70s show reminding us of what we only wish could be forgotten, such as with inflation now buttons, lining up to buy gasoline, or watching yet another rerun of Gilligan's Island because, no, James Hunt was not racing Nicky Law to live on cable. Issues of memory and the nostalgic impulse not aligning with historic reality certainly apply to this car. The latest special edition of the Volkswagen Beetle, a convertible package dubbed the Denim. Where the Beetle Dune strives to evoke the 1960s without the drugs, the Denim supposedly echoes the jeans edition Type 1 Beetles of the mid-1970s. Anyone who imagines that these 2016 special editions genuinely revive the cars we drove back then is engaged in an exercise of selective memory, if not suffering hallucinations. Based on the previous, sixth-generation Golf's front-drive platform with a turbocharged, water-cooled, four-cylinder mounted transversely in front, rather than the Type 1 air-cooled flat four mounted at the rear, the 2016 Beetle Denim is a much better car than anything built in 1975, when, we'll remind you, everyone thought convertibles were doomed to imminent extinction. The most 70s thing about this modern bug is the jeans-inspired material used for the folding top and the interior upholstery. It vaguely resembles a pair of genuine denim trousers in the same way that the double-knit leisure suits worn by 70s country music stars making guest appearances on Hee Haw were jeans-inspired. But let us not be purists about our Beatles or 501s. Levi's, unlike Beatles, are not better today, trust us, the material suggests denim clothing, at least, and the coloration and contrast stitching look handsome against the stonewashed blue paint of our test car. Like other Beetle convertible tops, this blue jeansy one is a thick, triple layer design with a glass window. It does a great job of insulating against noise and weather, folds with the touch of a button at speeds up to 31 miles per hour and doesn't impose any severe visibility problems whether up or down. The denim edition includes 17-inch aluminum wheels in the retro-looking heritage graphite design, a blue and silver dash pad, and manually adjustable sport seats that have denim look centers, white stitching, and little red tags on the seat pockets emblazoned with Beetle logos. Visually, it's handsome and somewhat more masculine than the ladybug dots and daisy decals that often emblazon 1970s Beatles. And, unlike most special edition packages, this one is a genuine value proposition despite being produced in a collectible short run of only 2,000 units, equally divided between this color and white. This car listed for $26,815 without the single option offered from the factory, a $500 wind blocker that we've previously found to work well enough but happily lived without, given the fuss of installing it and having it block the back seat. That bottom line is only $505 higher than the lowliest of base Beetle convertibles, which is what the car is, aside from the denim package appearance items. If you want this look, however, you'll not be able to get standalone options including navigation or HID headlights as you can in the non-denim car. Still, the denim is no old-school stripper with rubber mats, hand crank windows, and manual locks. There's standard air conditioning, heated, power folding exterior mirrors, heated washer nozzles, heated seats, a nice leather-wrapped steering wheel with multi-function controls, and even reading lamps. The little whale tail spoiler is standard on convertibles, mostly because the folded top looks better with it than without it.
Drift away